Yo, what's up guys, Logan here. Got Doc with me, Jacob, and uh, we're finally out here. This is the Red Creek. We're looking for a good point to cross it. We have the gear sled in tow, and there is um, no snow down at this elevation. It's kind of a bummer. That's the whole reason the sled was bought in the first place, but we had to bring all this extra gear anyway. So the sled's actually turning out to be pretty useful so far. It's really not too hard to pull over this terrain. It's pretty soft. And we've been bringing it up through the leaves. It's a lot softer terrain than the rocks. But what we're gonna do now, we're going to continue up the trail and we're going to find a nice crossing point to get the sled and ourselves across. Then they're going to drop boots, um, hike the pants legs up, get across, and then start our journey up into the wilderness. I'll just leave the back side up and you just pull from the top. What's up guys? Um, we're about an hour in. Doc's went up the river here. He's looking for a uh, better spot to cross. It's a little too rapid in this area to take the sled across. We can't risk our sleeping gear getting wet. Um, and then over here, as you can see where it's more still, this is just a little too deep to cross. It's actually probably five feet. It's probably above waist high, definitely. Um, and it's not worth risking to cross to get the sleeping. We can't get the sleeping gear wet. So what we're gonna do is continue to move up the river and look for a better spot to cross. All right, we are still steadily climbing. We have the sled. We going. adjusted the tarp a little bit, you know. A lot, we, a lot. We had to mess with the slide a lot. The tarp, it's a learning lesson. And as you can see, it's finally starting to clear up there. You can see that we have spruce. It's starting to open up into more of a tundra style landscape. But for right now, we still have a very rough trail. Let's climb, we're having a blast. It's nice out here. So we, uh, we found an old, an old campsite. We're probably gonna stop here and have a snack. But this is the uh, the view so far. Still working on a good spot to cross. Honestly, this doesn't look all that bad. We're definitely gonna get wet. But we need to get up on Breed Mountain over this way. So the trail we're on right now continues up in elevation and comes around to a crossing downstream. But it's beautiful up here.
He's a joke. Doc. Doc. Shoot a cross towards that big one. Climb up on top of it. <laughs> and you got it. That shit's cold. Oh my. The sled's gonna be a monster. <laughs> you got it, brother. Just walk, man. Just walk. All right, so now Doc and I have to take the gear sled across. We both just did a crossing, took our pack across, had to cross back to get the sled. And then after we take the sled across, I gotta come back across to get the camera again. I'm gonna uh, speed this up and hurry this up because it's getting cold, the wind's coming through. The water's not quite as cold as an ice plunge, but it's it's right there, it's pretty close, it's just not as deep. So we're gonna get through this uh, and we're gonna just go ahead and send it now.
All right. We've warmed up from the stream crossing. Now we're starting to really come up in the elevation. As you can see, it's been a pretty, it's been a pretty steady incline. We're working our way up. Have been another a thousand feet, uh, about 700 actually. Um, if we would go this way, it's very, very, very steep. We're taking it gradual because we have the sled. So we're going, we're like traversing the sides. Um, going up, we're gonna get to the top of this rocky point and then we're gonna go ahead and set up our first camp for the night and then continue uh, moving to our final destination tomorrow and see how it goes. All right guys, what's up? So Doc and I finally finished hiking for day one. Um, we went seven miles, we gained like 1200 feet of elevation. Uh, we hiked for seven hours, we're exhausted. We found a nice little spot. It's not exactly where we want it to be, but uh, the sled had other, uh, other plans for us. What we're gonna do now is start a fire. These are Bigfoot bushcraft fire plugs. Um, you rub them together in a circular motion, rip them apart, and then you light the exposed ends. We're gonna use the fire starter that they provided. Don't want to cook all the plugs on fire. Let me move that real quick. Let me move the actual piece of wood. There we go. There we go. Okay, we're going to get these leaves burning. And this is dry firewood, thankfully. I'm lucky for that. And these fire plugs burn for quite a while. All the stuff up here is extremely, extremely dry. Yes, sir. And then there's tons of twigs, tons of stuff to burn all around the area. Fire going. We just need to build a solid coal bed. We're gonna look around for some more. There we go. We'll just have to. There we go. I'll tell you what. These fire plugs also burn for like three to five minutes. So we can get one of these back in a circular motion and put that right underneath that wood and that baby is going to light that wood up and burn and what I'm going to do now guys is I'm going to go grab a couple more small pieces of firewood from the sled make a kind of a teepee with fire and then Doc and I are going to eat chow because all we snacked on today is one uh, MRE snack and the, but we did have a big breakfast at a diner so all right here we have it um we're just about to make dinner. Uh, we got the fire going good. We got a shelter set up. Um, it's almost finished. Yeah, tonight we didn't get to stop where we wanted to. So the shelter's more makeshift, but it's not a bad night. It's cold, but it's not super wet. Hopefully it stays that way. Um, yeah, we're gonna eat and then we're gonna uh, bed down. So most likely just see you guys in the morning. What's up guys? We finally laid down for tonight. Uh, it's pretty cold out. You can see your breath. We got hand warmers. We're in our bags now. Um, and we built a shelter that uh, in the morning I'll show you guys how everything's set up. Uh, voice is pretty hoarse because it's pretty cold. All right, guys, we're gonna we're gonna go to bed. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, we woke up about an hour ago. Um, we actually slept in a little bit, got some extra sleep. Uh, this is where we camped last night. We slept under this tarp, and actually it was the warmest night I think I've ever had in the field um, with these new sleeping bags, the Corinthia Defense Six. Doc's got the snug pack and. They were so warm, actually, that I had to, like, leave some of my body exposed throughout the night. Mm -hmm. My voice is a little bit hoarse, but I was kind of sick coming up here anyway, but I'd already got work uh, work time off for this trip, so there was no way I was going to miss it regardless of being sick. But we're uh, making breakfast right now. We're having the biscuits and gravy by Peak Refuel, and here's the view so far. And then later today, we're actually going to be up on top of a mountain um, at the very summit so super excited for that but uh yeah guys keep you updated
All right, so we're about to uh, head up further up the mountain. We got the sled packed up, we got our packs packed up, and we have completely cleaned up our area, leave no trace. It's like we were never here, but we were. All right, so our camp is just right around that corner. Big rock drops with the uh, sled, and then look, look at the trail. It's just all going to be absolutely miserable. Um, yeah, so we're going to, we're working our way towards our next point, And it looks like it's going to take us probably a couple hours to go like a half a mile. Searching for our second night camp spot. We ended up coming up into like a nice big spruce, like a smaller spruce forest with an opening in the center. Um, ran into a couple pretty big deer beds. But we're still looking for like a more flat open tundra um, with more, more meadows and areas to actually do some calling for some coyotes. Otherwise, we're not really going to be able to hunt much. But uh, it's really pretty up in here. It's super peaceful. And there's almost no wind because the uh, foliage around it just blocks it. Damn. Yeah. Current views. We just came out onto an opening. Um, and that is the trail where we came out at, and we came out onto this. This is the trail that we uh have to bring the sled. <laughs> The sled has to uh, go up this trail. What a blast. All right, so we've spent the last about three hours still moving, um, and the sled got impaled on a rock. So there's a big hole in the bottom of the sled. I'll show you guys later. Um, so now we've had to start carrying the sled. Um, so it's slowed our movement. There's some snow on the ground here. So we're going, hitting this mountain trail up into an open spruce forest, high up in a tundra where it'll be more flat, safe from the wind. So you can see everything's starting to turn to spruce already. And the ground's a lot softer. I'm hoping it's more dry up there. It's not going to be just open. Uh, but yeah, this is a mushy nastiness. Yeah, but the sled finally got impaled. And um, we've resorted to having to uh, carry it. Yeah. So after an absolutely grueling trek up some super steep elevation, carrying the sled still over two miles, um, through this kind of terrain. We're starting to open up into the, the Fega Moss, um, getting into that more, looks like a uh, Canadian tundra style climate. It looks like, it, according to the GPS, there's a complete open spruce forest on the other side and you can actually see it. Um, and then the other side of that forest is gonna be where we camp. But it is just beautiful up here. We're having a blast, we are broke off. There's no joke about that. This was a, uh, a lot of moving. A lot more than what we thought we would be doing, but well worth it. And about 100 meters from where uh, the last video was, is now we've opened up into one of the small uh, bogs 
are very high up. It's extremely, extremely beautiful up here. We just have to keep following this trail up through the spruce to where we're camping for the night. But it looks awesome up here. It's got some sand too as well. So we made it to our uh, stopping point for the night. And we are going to bed down here on the super soft. This is like all like old pine needle just dried out in some moss. Have a ground tarp and then uh, put up our mats and our bags right here. Tie into these trees around it. Just to, We're going to just have a square. Like the tarp will just be open like a square to keep the water off of us. And over here's a sled, the packs. And there's already a firing here. It's very wet, but we're going to try to get a fire going. So if we can get a fire going here, chill on these rocks. It's very wet though. We're going to try though. It's beautiful in here. Big open spruce forest. And then the other side's tundras. All right, guys. So what we're doing right now is we're putting the rain flies over our pack. We just set out some chem lights that lead us to where we're going to get some drinking water. And then one that leads us out over towards the uh, fire pit. We're not even going to make a fire tonight. We're just going to get down, uh, bedded down after we eat some chow. And then we are going to just relax for the rest of the night. Go do some hunting in the morning. Um, after we do the hunting, we're going to slowly start descending back down towards the Red Creek to camp down there. Um, and then once we get camping down there, uh, Tuesday morning, we'll have another cold uh, river crossing because Tuesday morning it's supposed to be snowy. So, but yeah, this is the setup we have. Got the camera hanging out. But our bags, we have this tarp tied to these trees and then a ground tarp, ice mats, and then bags. And these bags are awesome. Uh, Corinthia Defense 6 and Snug Pack, you guys both did really well. All right, guys, so right now we are walking down the trail. Got our now jeans in hand. We're about to fill them up and then use some water purification tablets um, because water is running low. So I'm not going to do it from here. I'm going to go up where it's running off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right here. Well, I see exactly where I'm going to gonna do that too. Yeah, right off these rocks. Yeah, yeah. My bad, bro. You good? Yeah. You see right here? Where it's running off. I'm gonna fill up in there. All right, fast moving. Actually. Yeah, I'm not gonna go into the, yeah. I'm gonna grab our water right here, fill in. Use water purification tablets. Doc, if you want to go ahead and start filling up. Yeah, if you want to hand them to me. Yeah, yeah, let me. <clears throat> We're using these portable aqua water purification tablets. We just dropped two into each of our now jeans. Um, and now we got to wait 35 minutes. Child time. We're having some chicken pesto pasta. The now jeans are still over there <clears throat> um, deep pur or purifying. So we're going to make some... Uh, Peak refuel chicken pesco pasta. We each got one. I'm using the water from the camelback bladder right now. And then I'm also going to make some banana cream protein oatmeal. But yeah, we're just chilling. Got some layers on, feeling warm. Rain's coming down a little bit, but uh, it is absolutely beautiful up here. <clears throat> got some uh, banana nut protein oatmeal. We'll put two packs in there, warm it up in the jet boil, and we're just going bite for bite. Got the hand warmers. We're chilling. Just hooking up. I uh, just put the phone on charge. We got the uh, dark energy. Uh, this is the Poseidon Pro. I'm going to be putting the watch on charge down here, and we are charging. We're at 49%. But if I get it fully charged now, I don't have to worry about it <clears throat> for the rest of the trip. It's good. What's up, guys? We just got up second morning. My voice is pretty hoarse. Uh, we slept good, slept warm. We slept eight hours. 
And now we are actually heading the trails. <clears throat> We're actually going to cut our own trail across. There's a wide open tundra on the other side of this forest over here. And uh, we're going to go call on some coyotes. Hopefully get one. If we don't, we still had fun. So we're coming through. We just opened up on the end of that spruce forest right there. We actually ran into an Arctic hare. Just a pure white rabbit. I've never seen one in person before. But uh, he was huge. But we're going to continue pushing that way to get to the open tundra. Out onto the other side from where we were traveling. And look at this. It's just this huge open tundra. We're gonna push across to the other side um, and start calling in, um, using the predator call, trying to call in some coyotes or whatever we can call in really. <clears throat> Preferably coyotes or bobcats. Bobcats are pretty elusive, but it's just beautiful up here. We're just working our way to the point that we're gonna start calling in. We called for a while <clears throat> we haven't seen anything we heard some stuff um but we have to make movement starting today we have to start coming down <clears throat> so we gotta get back eat at camp pack up and uh we have quite a long descent down but um it's been a blast and as we said it is just absolutely beautiful up here well worth the trip um and honestly can't wait to do it again Found a little pond, uh, super clear. We're still heading back towards our camp so we can start our uh, descent, but it's beautiful. We just finished navigating back to the camp. We definitely went around the way we came through. And as soon as we popped out through the opening, boom. Right to camp. Luck. All right, so we got the sled packed up. <clears throat> Bags are packed. We are just grabbing a few last minute things, packing them, stuffing them. Uh, we've cleaned up our area. And then we're gonna start our descent, which total distance up, we're about 10 miles in the wilderness, but hopefully it's a more straight line down and we're able to cut it down. Um, make the uh the journey back shorter because we need to get down by the uh the creek to cross either this evening if we make it in time or first thing in the morning which will be miserable <laughs> all right so we're now leaving from our final campsite uh and we're going to be heading down doc what do you think <laughs> get her done <laughs> It's going to be a minute. We're probably going to end up moving all day. We didn't want to move more than a few hours today, but uh, that's not going to be an option. So <sighs> here we go. So what we've done is we've repacked some things in our packs. We've actually taken a lot out of the sled. We've got our sleeping bags on the back of our packs. Um, we only have a few things left in the sled. We moved a lot of stuff around to make this movement a lot easier. Uh, we've already went over a mile and a half, and it's only been a little bit over an hour. So we have a pretty good speed, especially for terrain uh, that is straight down. The camera does it some justice, but it doesn't show <laughs> doesn't show it exactly how it is. And then we're gonna continue up this trail and work our way back toward, uh, down towards the river. So we have made it um, 2.8 miles in an hour and 49 minutes at a, a mile um, average speed of 1.6 per hour. We are coming down still. We just literally have, we're doing a tuna break. Just like plopped off on the side of the trail. It's lovely. So we've already descended quite a ways. Um, we're coming down. Doc's about to drop a warming layer because it's actually getting warmer as we go down a little bit. It actually feels a little bit better down here in the lower elevation. Um, but that's because the wind hasn't started hitting us yet. But... We are making our way down. All right, so we are still making our way down, carrying this lovely sled down here to the bottom. This is really steep. Let me hold it down low. That still doesn't do it justice. But it's pretty steep. Um, 
And it's just so wet, slippery. But these Merrells are holding up extremely well. I got the Merrells on too. How did we tumble? Uh-huh. I'll be giggling. All right, so we have made it down. Oh. Creeks right here. Now we're just pushing back towards the direction of where we parked. Um, we have one more night here, and then we'll be heading out early tomorrow uh, to head back home. All right, so we've been making our way down the river looking for a good crossing point, and we stumbled on this. It's a black bear paw. It's huge, next to my foot. Look at the pads on it. That's wild. Something was eating on it. What's up? So we just made it across. Um, we had to bring our uh, we had to bring our packs over. Then we had to bring the sled over on a separate trip. I only recorded our initial crossing. Um, I didn't record anything with the sled, but actually the sled crossing was easier for me than the pack crossing. So we took that little ridge and a small rocky outcrop there, um, and we made it across. So now it's just. As simple as hiking probably a couple miles max, if even that, and uh, camping down. All right, so I'm pretty impressed with the 5-Tac uh, 11, the multi-cam pants they make with the ripstop fabric. Because we just crossed the river 15 minutes ago, and this fabric is already drying out. And my feet are warm in some new wool socks. And here's the trail. Finally getting down pretty low. Got a little waterfall right there. A little swimming hole below it. Almost there. All right, right now we are uh, as of the team pulling the sled at the ropes on each of my biceps. Okay. We, uh, we had another unexpected stream crossing. We just put dry socks on, so now we have to decide do we want to drop our boots and socks to cross or do we just want to send it? We have this one final small crossing. Nothing major, just some really good news. Huge shout out to Garmin for the Tactic 7 AML LED edition. The watch has been paramount during the hike to navigate these trails. It also has tracked every other metric. It has tracked, it has the compass, the time of day. Total ascent, elevation, total descent, and then it tracks. So we've been going at a 1.6 miles per hour speed. Total distance almost six miles through terrain like, like this. It's taking us five hours and 31 minutes. So we are making great time. We're almost there. Last stream crossing as well. All right, so we made it back to our initial uh, first stream crossing. It took us, what, about seven hours for to move again? seven straight hours of moving with all that weight on the pack the sled through awful terrain but uh, here it is we are we're here someone even got their blazer off that tree all right so this is our last night spot 
Got a beautiful spot right here on the uh, side of the creek where we came from for our first crossing. We just finished this. This took us like maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes max. And then check out how nice field stools at the bottom below where your feet will be. It allows the rain to angle off. This right here is actually like a perfect little stream. And then you just take your feet and kind of dig it out so water runs off. It'll roll down more instead of kind of puddling them back that way. We got our bags. We got some dry firewood, rifle MREs, things of this, things of that nature. We're about to get a fire going. Um, we're gonna have some chow, boil some water, and Doc and I are actually gonna relax for like the first time since we've been out here, to be honest. But yeah, guys, we'll give you more updates soon. All right, so we're down here on the, the uh, bank of the river. We're about to fill up our uh, now jeans for the last time. We actually have a good sized fire going uh, right through the trees. You can see it's starting to come up through. So we have a nice fire going, filling up our water, going to boil up the water. Um, and then we're just going to eat like two main meals because then we have oatmeal and granola for breakfast. I might even eat my granola tonight and just eat oatmeal in the morning, but we're just going to calorie up because we just have like less than two miles tomorrow to move and we'll be back to the car. But uh, this is what we're working with out here. I think we were up. Are we up very on the other side of that? Well, you can't even see where we were at because it's so high that it actually goes up and then over and then goes up again. But, uh, yeah. All right, so we got the fire going good here on our <clears throat> last night. Um, we're about to have dinner, and we finally got the wood caught up good. It's dense wood, so it's burning for a minute. We're just going to warm up by the fire, have dinner, chill out for a little bit, and then uh, get in our bags in a few hours. But we're just hanging out. It's really nice out. We'll add Fire's going so good. You can see the steam rolling off of us just from being by the fire. I mean, the steam is just rolling out of our uh, out of our uniform, out of our gear, coming out the gloves. But this fire's burning hot. We got a hot bed of coals, and we got the water boiling down here <clears throat> from the river. And then we're gonna have chow. Still waiting on that chow. Good night. It's a good night. All right, now we just have our marrows up on the uh, the rocks, just kind of kind of drying out our shoes. It's really cold up here. It's supposed to get into the <laughs> the mid twenties tonight, maybe low twenties. If it does, and there's any precipitation that rolls through, like they say they're supposed to be, we're gonna wake up to fresh powder, which would be cool because we'll just be moving like a mile and a half. We'll be out of here. But, yep. Yeah. Chow, water still boiling, eight minutes per. And then we're gonna have some chow. Just drying our feet out <clears throat> in our boots by the fire. Chows will be done in just a few minutes. So, oh, we were smacking on some peanut butter. But the steam rolling out. My feet are actually getting pretty hot. So, they'll be drying out soon. Get my boots done, dry out one by one. And then we'll uh, start to layer up and Probably bed down and just hang out in the bags for the evening, for the rest of the evening, and then uh, go to bed. Uh, so what we're doing now is we're about to uh, bed down so we can get warm. We got a huge. This is like my electronics, my chargers and stuff. It's uh, it's dropping enough to where it's soon going to become snow. Um, I would say because it's pretty cold, and if it's not snow in the morning, then it's going to be icy and miserable, or just extremely cold and wet but it already is so got the booties got the booties out got my uh, last pair of fresh dry wool socks from the movement tomorrow waffle tops and bottoms dry and then a brand new uh, set of dry gloves and then we're gonna put uh warmers in our bags as well but my bag actually stayed dry today during all that movement so yeah guys we're getting uh getting better down Chilling, about to switch to dry layers, and uh, just enjoying the whatever all this is <laughs> the nature. Yeah, I gotta get these dry socks on there, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm, I'm about to change into my dry socks, and uh, 
Ew, I don't even like looking at my feet. There's little like, there's like wool hairs from the socks sticking down on them. There's a, a, a blood blister shaped like a heart. <laughs> <laughs> Valentine's Day is coming up. But uh, yeah, this is a, uh, dang, kind of got calm out there, huh? Oh, all right, I got to put these dry socks on. But yeah, I just wanted you guys to see my nasty piggies. That looks bad. I could squeeze it. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. All right, so we got all the lights going. We thought we heard a coyote. So we're brightening it up. But I think we're good. This is definitely starting to turn to snow soon. You think? Yeah, it's getting cold out. Yeah, I mean, breath. All right. All right, guys, we are, uh, we're bagging down. Dog is chilling. <laughs> <laughs> the weather has dropped like 20 or 30 degrees, maybe more. I'd say 10 more, and this, this frost and rain turns to snow but uh, we have it set up we are back in town i think our isomats even i think they overlap yeah yeah, yeah they do <laughs> so we are yeah this is gonna be a night but uh yep <laughs> so we are in the lake, it's uh, it is 10 18, and uh, the water is coming down out there. But uh, we're all tasty in it. All right, so we uh, we woke up, and it indeed the forecast was right, turned to a uh. Pretty uh, pretty heavy uh, powder coming down. Luckily, we woke up just in time to uh, clean the tarp off because if we hadn't tied them so tight last night, uh, these ends of the tarp, we would 100% be uh, under some snow. So we're gonna have to rotate, clean it off the top of the tarp, just keeping it clean, staying warm until daylight. Um, and then we're going to pack and move. All right, so. Powder's coming down heavy. Here's our, uh, here's our beautiful shelter. What's up, Doc? <laughs> And we are living it. This is uh, this is what we envisioned for the entire trip. Um, kind of thankful that didn't happen because we'd have to uh, rethink our easy shelter. So we walked down to the edge of the creek uh, right near where we, uh, well, this isn't where we crossed yesterday. This is where we crossed the first time, but uh, it's a good thing that we crossed today because the river's probably what? Almost doubled in width, just about. Not quite. It's come up for sure. But yes. snow is coming down. <laughs> We're smacking down some granola. Still waiting on daylight so we can get our gear uh, consolidated over there and uh, get ready to start heading back towards the car. But uh, we're actually pretty toasty. It's just can't see to leave just yet. So as you can see, we're really glad we crossed yesterday afternoon because the water's a lot colder, obviously, deeper, and it's faster moving. You can see the runoff from the mountains up there. It's also the trees. But, uh, yeah, we're extremely glad we crossed when we did. Um, and it's almost bright enough. We're about to uh, start our movement back to the car. But, uh, yeah, it's beautiful out here.
All right, we're walking back to the packs. We're about to uh, get geared up and head on out of here because uh, the warm car sounds awesome and uh, some warm food. We've had a blast and uh, probably going to be a couple more, a couple more clips after this. So. Yep, but here's the uh, there's a little path from the crossing down to where we camped. And there's still standing. And we're almost all done and packed up. And then we are going to be heading out of here. I got to go up that. We are currently heading up the trail with the sled heading towards the car um, and these are the current trail conditions not terrible but definitely a lot more slippery yeah I'm making great time we're uh, probably a mile and a half from the car The reason we're really glad that we crossed yesterday afternoon is because look at that. Look at that. It's wild. All right, guys. So we made it. We are uh, at the car. You can hear it running, warming up in the background. We are going to get these packs put up, let the car heat up, clean the snow off the car, and then we're going to head out of here. I appreciate you guys for watching. What's up guys, Logan here, warm and cozy at home now. And I was just making this quick video to drop the end of the full video to thank you guys for watching. Please drop a like and subscribe if you like the video. And if you wanna see more content like this, go ahead and drop that subscribe. And also in the comments section below, Doc and I wanna take suggestions of where you'd like to see us go next. We have a few ideas of mine, but we really wanna see where you guys want us to go. If you enjoyed it, leave a comment. If you have uh, any criticism, please drop it in the comment section below. Um, and I'll see you guys on the next one.